Now, 23 minutes past six, the chances are you've picked up the phone at some point only to be greeted with a stony silence. Often you're being phoned by a company call centre using an automatic dialing system. Yeah, and if there aren't enough staff on hand to speak to you, then the call just stays silent. They speak to somebody else instead. But now the government is threatening fines of up to £2 million for firms making calls like that. Well, we're joined now by campaigner David Hickson. Very good morning to good you. Morning. Um, too many of these calls still going ahead. What effect is it having on people? Far too many. This has been well known, well covered by breakfast and many others for many years now. Ofcom are still failing to use the powers they have to take action against it. So many people still report being greatly troubled by the nuisance. Once people know what the cause of it is, there is less anxiety caused. So that's a small step, but it's still an enormous annoyance to be troubled by an unnecessary call. Yeah, because it must be um, particularly alarming if you're worried about who might be calling you. It might sound threatening or intimidating. As you say, once you know it's an annoying direct marketing call or other sort of uh, call caused by this technology, yes. that, that, is, that is feel, makes you feel better, I can imagine. But what should Ofcom be doing? What they should be doing is rather than stacking up massive fines and going for big sort of headline cases, they should be taking action about every complaint that comes in or whether there is a number of complaints to establish a particular offender, take action there as a small and proportionate scale initially and then build up to when they may need a big fine if someone carries on. If they only, as they have been, do long, lengthy investigations of about 18 months and then slap on a whacking great fine, well, it's an indication of their failure over that 18-month period. Have they got the time and resources to investigate every single complaint? They can't investigate every single complaint, but a proportionate approach should be shown to take modest action when you first hear about something, which their powers do allow them to do, and then only build up with the very big cases to doing a very lengthy investigation. Lots of little cases would, I think, do the job much better. It would catch more people doing it and, of course, expose them in public view. Who is mainly responsible? There are two groups. There are direct marketing companies who are doing this, but also we must remember in these days there's an awful lot of credit collection activity going on now with credit card companies who have been subject to action by Africa in the past and others. They use these dialers. Indeed, it was for them that this technology was first developed. So a lot of those calls are coming from people there who are trying to chase up uh, debts. All right, OK. Uh, David Hickson, thanks ever so much for, for coming in. I know you started this campaign because you yourself were affected. Um, Indeed. With, with Breakfast, Breakfast has done an awful lot of work in publicising this, I'm very grateful. Indeed. Well, we're grateful to you as well, David. If you've experienced silent calls, we would like to hear from you this morning. And you can email us, the BBC uh, Breakfast at bbc.co.uk address on the screen now. You can text us as well, 61124. Those texts cost between 10 and 12 pence, depending on your network and you can call us 03700 100 125 standard geographic charges apply calls from mobiles may be higher and if you phone us we promise not to call back and stay silent uh,